All right, Chris from Rock Speed FX. Today we're going to put a set of bar back risers on a Honda Africa Twin. Let's get started. We're gonna towel over the top of the tank because we don't want to scratch everything up. You would use a six millimeter Allen wrench uh, to take these off. Your bars are gonna wanna roll. Make sure you're hanging on to them. Let them roll down, it's nice and soft onto your tank towel. And then go ahead and pull everything else out. Like so. The OEM standoffs here uh, are machined offset. So what we've done uh, is we're providing a shim uh, with the riser kit so that you can put the riser forward or backwards. Take off the caps to the ROX risers. I want you to notice that the, the round side stays together. Okay. We're gonna grab the OEM bolts that we had earlier. Just slip this one in here. I'm going to put one of these shims in place underneath, like so. I'm gonna put that on top, like that, and I'm just gonna start that first bolt, like so. I'm gonna grab the other OEM bolt. I'm gonna go back in on the front. I am going to snug up the front bolt first. And then we're going to go to the back. We're going to tighten that one up. You want about 19 to 20 foot pounds of torque on these. I'm going to snug up the front. Like so. Just snug up the back. And now we're going to set the handlebars back in place. I'm going to kind of find center um, on these. What I do is I kind of look at the bend, where the bend is, take my fingers, Kind of feel out where that would be in the back. The rocks cap is also machined offset. So we're going to tighten the square side first. Now the nice thing about the design that we've got here is now we can get on the bike and we can move the bars even with our rear bolts tight. We're going to tighten the front bolts or the round side of the rock riser. Now we're going to check for cable lengths. What I did is I actually took the, the uh, front hydraulic line out of its retainer up in the, the clip in front, moved it just on top and then zip tied it back in. I made sure I had plenty of freedom here with my throttle cables and my clutch cable and then my electric. I actually took that out of the retainer as well. Rock Speed Effects risers, the new block riser, a universal, uh, fits on any bike. For the most part, with a 1 1 8 diameter handlebars. That's important to remember. www.rockspeedfx.com, 218 326 1794. Thanks.